today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make this solid shell stitch. So grab your yarn, grab your hook and let's get going. Start by making a slip knot, insert your hook and pull it tight and we're going to chain a multiple of six and then add on two. So as I'm making a sample, I have just done a chain of 20. So that's three lots of six plus the extra two chains. Next, we're going to turn. So working in the first second chain from the hook, I'm going to start by wiggling in my crochet hook and making a single crochet. Next, I am going to skip two stitches. So that's two little bumps in the back of my chain and place five double crochets into the next stitch. So that third stitch along. And then if we go back to our chain, we are going to again, skip one, two bumps and into the third bump, do a single crochet. And we're going to repeat this along. So we're going to skip two bumps, do five double crochets, then skip two bumps and do a single crochet. Meet me at the end of this chain. So at the end of row one, you've got a single crochet to start, three shells and then a single crochet to end. Now we're going to move on to row two. So I'm going to chain one and turn and then I'm going to place three double crochets into the top of the single crochet that ended row one. Then I'm going to find the middle double crochet of the five that we made, so the third one, and place a single crochet. Then we're going to find the next single crochet, so that again, that's the third stitch from where you are now, and place five double crochet, so a full shell here. Again, find that middle double crochet from the shell in the previous row, so the third stitch from where you are, place a single crochet, skip two and then into the top of that single crochet do five double crochets. Again, single crochet into the middle of the previous shell and then we're going to place three double crochets into that last single crochet to end row two. Row three. So we're going to chain one and turn. And as you can recall, we had a single crochet at the bottom, then half a shell. So we're going to go back to a single crochet. Then at the next single crochet, so you've skipped two stitches, you're going to be placing your five double crochets. Again, going for the middle double crochet of that shell, the third double crochet to do a single crochet, doing five double crochets into that single crochet and we're doing the same all the way along. So we've just finished a shell, we've got three stitches remaining so into that third stitch do a single crochet. And this is how it's going to keep going. So keep repeating rows two and three because we're no longer working into a chain, we're working into those shells until your project is as tall as you would like. I hope you found this helpful.